Snotty Squad, we're going on, boy. I'm talking about on, on. Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joan Joan. And you know I got my dog with me, your feet. Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to be no enthusiastic until I get some lotion on my ankles, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold you, bro. I ain't oh, my God. God, oh, no. I ain't going to lie, my man's out here going out kind of sad. But it's good, though, because we're going to bounce back on the dog. So today is the day of SneakerCon, the day everybody's been waiting for. We are about to go to SneakerCon, but first, we gotta go pick up them 11s, man. Or at least, at least look at the 11s, because that is the shoe release that's dropping this weekend of SneakerCon, so you know we gotta check them out. Just look at everybody recording right now. This man, that man, that's what happened when you vlogging with 30 other vloggers, you know what I'm saying? They all in my damn way. So y'all know what's up, bro. My boy Bray with me, yeah. Hey, man, what up, yeah. bro? <laughs> What's going? Greedy, greedy. <laughs> 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 hey man, so like I said, we headed to the mall to go check out these 11s. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if any of y'all was looking forward to this. Y'all know the Yeezy 700s dropped today, and that's why I got on the OGs today. I'm undeasing these. But I know me personally, I'm looking for them, and I'm actually excited for them to drop. Don't know if I'm gonna pick them up right away or not. My man, he don't like either one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the the 350s, right? The yeah. The 350s is pretty 700. straight. Not the three fifties. Okay, that's the Belugas, right? Yeah. So we actually got a challenge coming up, bro. You ready for the challenge? I ain't gonna tell them what it is. Man, bro. We doing that? Oh, oh, yeah. man, bro. I don't know <laughs> if I'm ready for that one, G. But I'm ready. ready. <laughs> I'm ready, ready. Let's hey, get it. everybody, ready. Out. Everybody say they ready. Everybody say they ready till them lights come on. And it ain't nowhere to run. I'm telling y'all, I didn't did it before. It ain't nothing to play with. Damn, it's gonna be bro. good though. It's gonna be fun. Something for y'all to see something different. My man's ain't got no hoodie on though. Man, bro, I'm out there hurting, G. I know you got. Okay, bro. So here's the story, right? I came to Atlanta, right? Like, welcome to Atlanta with a player. <laughs> Boy, I thought I was in Chicago, G. Got off the plane. It was rainy. It was cold. I'm thinking I'm gonna come out here, man. Nice, beautiful weather. None of that, bro. I could have stayed at the crib for this weather, G. <laughs> so for all y'all who was in my comments last video saying I was lying about the weather because my friend had a tank top on, I ain't lying. It's cold as shit. On dog. Oh, oh, oh so me? Oh, you know how I get down. You know what I'm saying? You already know how. Let me make sure. Make sure. Yo, turn my headphones up one time. Uh, ATL is cold as hell outside. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, what it do? Hey, with the crew. Next up, cold. I got the flu. Damn. What unbreakable, yeah, I take your hoe, and I'm in this bitch, diamonds on my wrist, yeah, shout out big holla, that bitch just want a dollar, No, I'm on the block, ballin' like I'm Iguodala, yeah, Yeezy's on my feet, uh, yeah, I keep that heat, yeah, fuck nigga, better not reach, yeah, cause if you do, I teach, Look, let me tell y'all something for the for the thirtieth time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had my name before the whole Kodak Sniper gang, bro. I met Sniper Jones since my since eleventh grade high school. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown as hell. So I tell you a lot. Wait, eleventh grade high school. So it's eleventh grade elementary school. Nah, bro, junior. <laughs> Like you, know, you got junior like high, you got 11th grade. grade. <laughs> I have, in high school, 11th grade, I had my name. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about how I gave Unbreakable Kicks his YouTube name. So I just thought it was it was go, important go ahead, that. Tell story, G. All right, so look, this is the story on how I gave Unbreakable. <laughs> no, wait, that's a story time. If y'all want to see that story time video, because I can give y'all all the tips for free. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see a story time video on how I gave him his name? Hey, look, that's let me be know. Easy so right now, we're walking into Champ Sports, and you know we looking for them 11s on deck. You heard? She got a pair in hand. I don't think these gonna sell out. A lot of stores that was like first come first serve, and we all know when it's usually first come first serve, it's probably still gonna be there. All right, we know you know what I'm saying. You don't really like kicks that much, so tell them how you feel about going after these two. You know what I'm saying? I mess with Jordan 11s heavy. You know what I'm saying? Those is like the only ones I actually have. I had the Columbia's and the Legend Blue, so you know what I'm saying? They straight. But listen, if you take that 220 you spend for these, that's like that's like six pairs of Vans. So these are the Jordan Premium 11s, the the platinum joints. You had these earlier. You know I, what did, I'm I did. I How did. You, I did. So so, what was your takes on these? Bro? Um, I needed them, bro. At the time. Now, man, you know they they decent, bro. They decent. You know you got the the new buck up. Oh, you get a first, you know, you know, you know, you, you, you got you got the first Jordan 11 that's all new buck, at least a high. You got no patent leather on these joints, man. Now the whole thing what I really wasn't feeling because how they cancel the mellows, but you know these still got glue stains, these still got little factory flaws, G. But they ain't gonna cancel these joints. But nevertheless, 
not my favorite pair of Jordan 11s, but it's still a Jordan 11 that you need to have in the collection, G. You need to have these joints in the collection. And it's Christmas, you get some eggnog with these joints. We really on thin ice because the last, like the latest you can go into sneaker con is 11 o'clock. It's like 10.35 right now, you know what I'm saying? 10.45 right now, you know what I'm saying? So as we in Champ Sports, I just want to reach my hand out. Champs, if y'all watching this, sing your boy something, you know what I'm saying? We can do some work. This, this Hollis Squad TV, y'all already know what's going on. We about to ask the cashier a question because this man be out of his mind. So I'm going to ask her, see what she thinks. So if you had 220, right, and you had to start a, like your closet, yeah. would you buy these shoes or would you buy $200 in Vans? I'm starting my closet. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Van, vans for days, coach. Bro, what you what you got? What you got on feet, bro? What you those? Uh, I got the Jordan Seven Ben Premios on foot, man. I love my seven, so I have to throw out something. Ain't gonna see her day. That's what they say in the A. Er. Gotta make sure we probably leave these at the hotel or something. You know what I'm saying? I think you wear like a 11 and a half, 12, something like that. All right, so look, this is what we gonna do, okay? You distract him. I'm gonna hit him across the dome with a right. You know what I'm saying? On, on dog. Now, what I need you to do, you take the shoes off his feet, all right? Me, I'm gonna be at the crib waiting. You know what I'm saying? You just handle that. You know what I'm saying? You just let me know we're going home. Oh, so I'm gonna take him to sneaker con with me, right? Right. I'm gonna sell them, get the bread for him, how much they go for it. They go for a lot, you know what I'm saying? They, they go for a lot. Like 500? Yeah, something right. like that. So if they go for 500, right. I'm gonna I'm stop by the Cumberland Mall, right? Go right. to the van store. And then, you know what I'm saying? That, that That's like, they got the bronze jersey on deck, you heard? Hey, I'm a Lakers fan now. I, well, I've been a Lakers fan, actually. I've been a Lakers fan from the jump. Where you from? Yeah. Huh? Where you from? Nah, Where you from, homie? What's up? <laughs> how, you, how, good, how you feel about them 11s, though? Man, they clean, man. You know what I'm saying? I might put them on today, man. You know, Word. might I might might rock them today, fresh out the box. It's facts, man. <laughs> I feel like, the, like I said, I feel like uh, if the 11s had the the patent leather and they had like you know what I'm saying different material, it would have sold out a lot more. If they I had like, that tumble, uh, that tumble. Uh, I don't know. Dude, that's his work. No, that's that's the only thing I know about Jordans is tumble leather. What? Bro, you, you bought me a pair, bro? Bro, you Yo, know I had to. That's love right there, bro. That's love. Nah. <laughs> See, if you would have had gave me them Carmelos, you know what I'm saying? You might have got blessed today. Get ready for an episode of What the F*** Are These with Sniper Joan Joan and Holla at Crazy. All right, this your boy Big Holla. We here with the Air Max Only Women's, right? That's what they call it. something. They, they, some, they, they some shit. They only... It come with the, the, the Christmas flannel material. I was going to throw them, but you know. I... This nigga tripping. I, I ain't going to jail on no boom gang shit. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got kids. I ain't got no kids, but nigga, I got kids. Let me tell you something. Your own dog, if you ever need to walk your dog or anything like that, I don't know what the hell these are, bro. These look like the ultimate dash for $79.99. There's so many other things I can do with $80. Do you know what I can do with $80? Tell them what you could do with $80. I don't dog. I could probably buy like 75 packs of hot fries. That's on me, you know what I'm saying? You know how many four for fours you can get with $80? How many four for fours can you get for $80? I don't dog. You can probably get like 28 for you can get way more than Hold up, my man said $80. Four for four is four dollars. He said he could get, I, I just need y'all to go to math class real quick. Tell your teacher I need better teaching than this. And thank her for it. So they still got the South Beach Ace up here, which is not actually as bad as I said it was on the initial review. I know I trashed these, but after seeing them a lot, on feet and just a lot more pictures on social media i can come around to it no i still won't purchase them but i don't think they're as bad especially when i seen them lace swap with the pink laces it's not a bad pickup so for any of y'all who actually got this as y'all can see here at champs they got the whole spread of all this stuff man so it can definitely be a potential great pickup if you pick these up but you have to wear them the right way. Eights are one of those shoes where it's super hard for you to actually be able to finesse it, lace them right, and wear them right. But they're also one of the most comfortable Jordan silhouettes of them all, in my opinion, because it's just a lot of cushion in those eights. All right, y'all, well, that's it, man. We just got done picking up the 11s. My boys got good eats. My man's back here got the pairs. We headed to Sneaker Con. If y'all see me in the same fit, it's because it's the same day, so don't be trolling in the comment section. Catch up with y'all later, man. Hopefully, I'll see some of y'all at Sneaker Con. And until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Joan Jones. Hit me with hit me with the outro, bro. You got unbreakable, and I'm out.